Let's talk about NHL 23. As you guys know, the technical test for NHL 23 just came to an end, and I'm here to give you all of my thoughts on the brand new game. I'm going to be 100% honest with you, the things that I absolutely hated about the beta and the things that I kind of liked. I figure we'll do kind of an old school gameplay commentary video, hop into a couple online shootouts, talk through my thoughts, and get you guys everything that you need to know. Of course, I want to hear your guys' thoughts as well, so give me your thoughts on the NHL 23 beta in the comment section down below but let's get into this thing we got three random teams you know the drill one two three and the nashville predators okay all right let's start talking nhl 23 first of all we have to just be straight up up front i think this is the most similar an nhl game has been in a long time i'm talking the jump from 22 to 23 the gameplay the gameplay differences that you feel when you hop on the tech test for the first time it looks the same the menus feel the same all of it feels relatively the same that being said let's get into some of the biggest features that were added to the game the one that of course we saw the most in the trailer was the last chance puck movement so those are those desperation shot attempts those desperation dives passes dumps any way that you can dive and get your last chance at the puck it has been implemented into nhl 23. now what we saw in the trailer there were a lot of people very worried that this was going to be an overpowered feature that every single goal on the ice was going to be these diving goals these crazy passes but no when you actually get into the game i'm talking i played 20 plus games of eashl i saw a total of zero desperation diving goals now yes you see the animations occasionally maybe once a game maybe but honestly i played five total games until i saw the animation pop up one time and it was just a guy getting bumped in the corner and ringing it around the boards so it is not something that is going to be happening very often in nhl 23 it, i think it's actually kind of realistic to how often you would see it in the real nhl which is what they said they were going for to be fair but when it's your biggest selling feature of the new game i think that's a bit of a tough look but to give them credit when the animations did happen they actually do feel pretty smooth they look sick and i think it is going to give us a variety of new goals in nhl 23 so that is very good to see also can we make a save next up in terms of the gameplay changes i think we have to talk about the poke checks because that seriously was probably the biggest difference maker that we had from 23 to 22 just in how the game plays when you go for a poke check now you are skating in absolute quicksand if you poke check for more than maybe two seconds at a time you are getting burned every single time and that is exactly how it should be yes defense is a lot harder here in nhl 23 yes you are going to get burned if you make those mistakes but that is what makes it fun forward should be rewarded if they have the speed to get by a guy and their guys just spamming the poke check button they should be able to get around them all day any day so it is good to see ea finally making some jumps to change the poke checking around it was broken in nhl 22 it was toxic being able to just skate around the ice flailing your stick around and getting speed burst because of it so that has finally been fixed okay we are already on one i'm not gonna lie it is tough to talk and play at the same time so give me some credit all right game number two one two three and we get the st louis blues okay my question is why is this something that could not be addressed in nhl 22 you have to think that the poke check speed could just be like a little slider that they toss up and down add it in a patch and be good to go but regardless i am happy that it's been implemented it really does change how the game plays it changes how the defense feels and yes it makes defense a little bit harder but i think this is going to be better for the game in the long term in the trailer they mentioned players that have speed will actually be able to feel that speed and i think with the poke checking and combination of that you do actually feel that in the beta if you make your guy you know five seven as short as he can go as light as he can go with all the speed attributes added i'm telling you you are buzzing around the ice in eshl in the tech test and that is how it should be some other smaller things we talked about probably the two Whoa, what a save we talked about the two things that you'll notice as you first jump into the game i think other than that though we have to talk about the passing and the intercepts so passing in nhl 23 is so crispy compared to nhl 22 i'm just gonna say it straight up i think in the 20 games that i played there were probably only a handful of times where it feels like the pass where you are actually aiming and the guy that you want to go to 
it, it doesn't do that. So that's good to see as well. I think. Oh, okay. We just won the shootout. I have no idea what was going on. I'm telling you, boys, this is harder than it looks. Shootout number two. We're one and one. Let's get another one going. So I don't know what they did on the back end to change that. But if you are aiming at a player, it is going to go to that player. It feels snappy. It feels like pucks are actually going to where they need to go. And the passing overall is greatly improved from NHL 22. Shootout number three. One, two, three. Toronto Maple Leafs. Let's go, baby. While the passing does feel better, it feels like they've upgraded the defensive ability to stop those passes. We saw it in the trailer, the updated interceptions. If you are standing in position to make a play on the puck defensively, you will actually... Oh! Bill! <laughs> What was that? I should have lost the puck and I should have blew that whistle six times, but they didn't. We take those. If you're in a position to make a play on the puck, you will at least prevent those cross creases. You'll get a stick on it. You'll bounce it away. Yes, you don't actually like physically intercept it and get it onto your stick every single time, but pretty much how it is in real hockey. If you're there to make the play, you can actually make the play. It is about time. Next up, as you guys have seen, I've been playing some incredible goalie. Let's start talking about... <laughs> Let's start talking about the goaltending. The number of goals that are going in on AI goalies and user goalies, I guess, too. We should probably count them both. And NHL 22 is just obs... All right, NHL 23 is just absurd. Every single game that I played, AI goalie, user goalie, I mean, we were talking eight to eight games eight to ten games the number of goals going in was way too high the weird thing about the goalies is they let in the simple shots like the classic goals that always go in if you cut across the crease hold it to your forehead and fire it on that far side it still goes in every time a lot more like realistic wristers i would say do go in like kind of those mid slot whatever goals that uh you know you'd shoot in real life that usually wouldn't go in in 22 those have started to go in as well but with the cross creases some of the new save animations are absolutely insane i'm talking two on o's i'm talking three on o's two on ones forcing the pass across these goalies will come up with the nastiest desperation saves that you will ever see over the course of the week i saw pad stackers i saw pad stack spins i saw pad stack spins with the stick like barely caught a piece of it as he did the spin around his head the goalies can't make easy blocks to save their lives but they will make the most insane desperation saves on the goals that probably should go in so goals that should go in aren't going in goals that shouldn't go in are going in it's kind of a flip-flop of what we've had in the past and it does change the way the game is played like you have to start taking more shots you have to start shooting from a variety of angles which i personally do like and it feels a bit more like actual hockey but of course as the game goes on we'll learn the glitches we'll learn how to beat the tendy and hopefully they'll make some patches to fix that we are two and one let's go one last shootout to end it here bang bang boom Dallas Stars. These guys are low-key kind of nasty. So overall, the gameplay for NHL 23 feels pretty good. It feels more like real hockey. There is a lot of offense. Some of the desperation moves are cool, but it's not overpowering. And the shooting, the passing, the intercepts all feel good as well. Oh, one thing I did forget to mention is the Zegers pass. So of course, we got to talk about the Zegers pass. It's something new in the game. Never saw the Zegers pass attempted once by anyone except me. Straight up, the Zegers pass is not that tough to pull off. In terms of actually throwing it over the net and having it land in front, it's definitely easier than the Michigan was in NHL 22. But actually getting someone to be in the right spot to either catch the puck on their stick or to bat it out of the air that's a different story so i think the fact that i played 20 games of 23 i didn't see anyone score i think that's how's that not gonna count that was actually nasty the little kick come on ref so the fact that i didn't see it in the 20 games that i played is a good thing i think with that and the michigan you want it to be something that maybe happens you know once a month for these players that go for it pretty frequently so that's good to see it's not going to be something overpowered it's going to be something fun to mess around and try oh come on it's going to be something fun to mess around with to try with some buddies but uh, obviously not something that you're going to be pulling off in competitive esports events so overall thoughts on the tech test we covered the gameplay it's not bad right it's not bad but it's it's nothing too crazy 
from NHL 22. I've seen a lot of people mention the gameplay changes from 22 to 23 could have just been a patch they added into 22. And for some of that, it's probably true. I don't know what goes on in game development. I don't know what goes on behind the scenes. I don't know why some of these changes couldn't have been made over the course of 22. But regardless, I do like the little changes that they've made. Honestly, the thing I'm most disappointed in is the lack of a 1v1 mode in the beta. That's a huge part of the game, a huge community, and people didn't even get to try that. Most of the changes to the game, I think, will be more prevalent in 1v1 play versus World of Shell. So why was the tech test only World of Shell? We didn't get to see the new line changes. We didn't get to see the new strategies. It would have been so much easier to pull off the animations in 1v1 play versus World of Shell. And all of that is just ignored for what reason? I have no clue. And the last but probably most important part of NHL 23 is the crossplay. I am bummed that we didn't get to at least try out the crossplay in the technical test. I know EA said that crossplay is not coming out until November, which means probably late November, let's be honest. But the fact that we didn't get to utilize any sort of testing for the tech test with crossplay is just a huge miss by EA. At least from what we see, it seems like crossplay is one of the most difficult things to implement in game development, and we don't even get to have a beta portion. This is going to drop, you know, come late November. It is going to be in the full game, and right away, we're just going to be the beta testers ourselves. Do we have confidence that crossplay is going to work perfectly in the full game when that update comes out? I don't know. I'm sure hoping that it does. I hope everything goes super smooth smoothly but i know how tough it is i know everything that could go wrong and it feels like this would have been the place to test it out in summary my thoughts on the tech test the gameplay is nothing crazy different from 22 to 23 the little changes that they did make though are very welcomed and they do have a huge impact on how the game is played last chance puck movement is a pretty sick addition when you see it but you really don't see it too often the passing and intercepts are near perfect right now i really like where those are at and the goaltenders could probably use some work regardless i'm still hyped for the rest of the trailers for nhl 23 i'm excited to see what we're getting next and hopefully it will all be good news it's going to be a big year here for content on my youtube channel so make sure you hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with everything nhl 23 of course hit the like button if you found this video helpful and comment down below your thoughts on the nhl 23 technical test i'm nasher and i'm out we'll see you guys next time peace